I'm Matt Bichard with NareetsReit.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2015 NareetS Investor Forum. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Michael Carroll, CEO of Bricksmore Property Group. Michael, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now first, can you start by talking about leasing activity and what trends you're seeing emerge among Anchor as well as your smaller tenants across your portfolio? Well, we've been very focused on repositioning Anchor tenants throughout our portfolio. We've been focused on trying to bring in uh, best-in-class anchors really drive more sales, more traffic, and that leads for us to better uh, follow on shop leasing at, you know, to more appealing tenants at stronger rates. And so we've been focused on off-price retailers like TJ Maxx and Ross and grocers like Kroger, some specialty grocers like Trader Joe's and Sprouts and others, uh, and really just trying to perfect our merchandising mix to, to draw more customers into our properties. Now, you started a pilot program with Starbucks in California for a new drive through walk-up storefront. Can you talk a little bit about how that program's gone, how it came about, and how, it's, how important it is for a landlord like yourself to work with tenants in these types of things? Well, we're always looking for, for new uses, and I, I think one of the big themes in our space today is, is densification of our existing assets, so finding opportunities to add more uh, uses, space, uh, you know, create sense of place with our properties and do, do unique things. And this was one of those opportunities where it's, it's a new pilot concept, it's uh, as much a walk up as, as anything else, but takes uh, uh, you know, what was previously parking area and allows us to, to take that and create space. And so we continue to look for other uses uh, like that. We're building uh, a, a number of shop spaces within our centers for you know, quick, quick serve, quick casual restaurants, things like Chipotle, Habit Burger, Noodles, etc. Uh, different kinds of use like that to try to bring density to the properties. Any meaningful new supply in your sector is still a few years away. How does that impact your strategic thinking? Well, uh, it's been a big impact. I mean, we, we recognize this, uh, I'm going to say January of 14, that the really development was, was now meaningfully off in the distance. And we re-looked at all of our properties reset our business plan and really thought about what's possible what can we do in this new environment and you know things like uh, retail densification with Starbucks or other things like that is one of those things things like re-merchandising to better anchors uh, is another we have choices today and we can really rather than fill space we can really merchandise this space much better uh, today and so that's that's our primary focus and really a great outcome for us coming out of a uh, 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 supply constrained environment Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.